Hello and welcome to Creating with Shannon. I'm Shannon and I'm coming to you live from my new classroom at the shop called Brushed. Um, it's a great way for me to promote <laughs> the classroom here at the shop, but also this area was clean so I didn't have to clean up my craft area because I'm working a bunch of stuff. Um, and I didn't want to, I didn't feel like putting it all away. I just decided that, you know what, let's take it to the classroom and I can show everybody. This is just the name on the wall. I've got my table sitting here, but I've got my little project going to work on. Um, but if you're jumping on, go ahead and say hello. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching it from. And um, we are going to do some decoupage fun. Um, I have a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at those beautiful colors of rice paper. And this is what we're going to be using. This is um, by Decoupage Queen. And I'm going to tell you a little bit something special about Decoupage Queen. Just a minute. I don't remember what the name of it is because on this package, I don't, it's not on the front like it normally is. So, but when I open it up, it does have it on the top. But I wanted to open it up in front of everybody. Naples. Here we go. Creating chaos with Melanie. Oh my gosh. We would probably be crafting buddies because I'm definitely a chaotic crafter too. Oh, Michaela, my uh, partner in crime this weekend. So can't believe I messed up. You know what? I'm going to fix it here shortly after I get out this live. Okay. So back to this. Um, I'm using the A0. It's ginormous. It's big. So they are perfect. Look at how big this is. It's perfect for a dresser, a table, or to cut them up into several different pieces. And let me see. Where's the name? Here it is. Oh, actually, it's not by Decoupage Queen, but... I get it from Decoupage Queen. And so any of your Decoupage Queen retailers could get this for you also, and they are scattered all over the place. This is actually by Paper Designs, and it is called, oh boy, <laughs> Carta de Risa, I don't know. It's it's a, something I don't know how to say. I never took Spanish. I'm assuming it's Spanish because it says Carta, but I don't know, I, I apologize. But anyway, it's rice paper, it's gorgeous. And, um, yes, uh, how are you, Melanie? Yes, I remember. Good, yes, come back. We've got all kinds of fun stuff planned. Um, let me show you what we are going to be putting it on. Isn't that paper gorgeous, Michaela? Okay, so I have a bunch of these around the store. I, but a lot of them, like they're made in Mexico, a lot of them started cracking on me. I don't know if it's humidity, the dry wood, whatever. But they don't look as nice when they're cracked. See, there's a big crack here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't have my overhead camera up because we're in the classroom. So we're just going to do it this way today. Um, but I don't like the crack. And the crack looks bad on the wood. Let me put that down. So we're just going to cover it up. And we're going to do it with this gorgeous, I want to say like boho-ish. But it's so, it's tropical. I love it. We're going to cover the whole thing. Well, uh, definitely the top and the handle. I don't know about the sides. I, I think it's a waste to do it on the other side because you'll never see the other side in a huge, but these papers are great. I've used them on a huge wardrobe. I used a big Gothic angel on it by Decoupage Queen. That one came out beautiful, but I always like to have the big, big papers because you can do so much with them. So anyway, without any further ado, we're going to get started. Um, and I'm just going to be using the good old Pent Art decoupage medium. This is the mat. This is, seems to be the one that I, I gravitate to. Um, the mat dries opaque and the glossy one dries um, clear, but it has a little shine to it because glossy, obviously. I apologize about the bell, but the store is open and that is what happens when somebody comes in. So we must be having a party. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just putting an even layer all over my board here. It's not that big of a surface where I need, I feel like I need to do it in sections. I think I could pretty well get it pretty even on my, my board without having to worry about too many wrinkles, which is why I absolutely love the rice paper better than paper because the rice paper is just so easy to work with. It doesn't tear. It's not as fragile. I mean, sure it will tear, but I mean, you have to be a little bit, a little bit, you know, rough with it. Um, and napkins 
even though they have the cutest little designs, you have to be really careful with them. Um, but like I said, with the rice papers, they just, you can just go to town on them and get busy. You can put the second coat of decoupage medium right away. You don't have to like wait like with napkins. Definitely, if you're going to decoupage your napkin, you want to put it on with one coat, let it dry before you put your top coat on or you really, really risk risk tearing it. And um, You don't have to worry about that so much with rice paper. You can just put your first coat of decoupage medium down, put your paper on, and then go ahead and seal it right away with the decoupage. Um, now, I just want to say, when I say decoupage medium, I always refer to it that way because not everybody uses what I use. I always list what I use in my comments, but I got a question or a statement one time like, why don't you just say what kind of clear coat you use? Well, I all, there's so many that work. I like you to use whatever you want to use. So that's why I don't ever really spend that much time on what I'm using, but I will again. <laughs> this is the Pentart Decoupage Medium Varnish and Glue, and it is in the mat. All right, so now I'm going over. I'm just making sure I have a nice even coat. I don't want to miss the section. Otherwise my paper won't stick there. And there are ways to band-aid that. Sometimes if I miss a little area, I'll get a little um, syringe and put some in there. Hey, Jenny. Kinley, love your name. And thanks. These are um, Kadis, uh eyewear. They're reading glasses. Hello, Sandy. Um, I love the Cadis. I have them in all different colors. I think it's Cadis, C-A-D-A-S. But I can't see up close without them. <laughs> I just actually switched to the matte black about a month ago because I left one of them in my dashboard on my car and they kind of melted and they're kind of warped. So that's it for that pair. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to stand up for this. And I'm going to hang it a little bit over the edge so I can just sand. Because there is a white frame around the entire rice paper. And I don't want to have that frame show up on my board. Could I have cut the paper down a little bit closer to the size of my board? Absolutely. But I could have done it before we started, but I wanted you to see how big it is. All right. So I'm just taking my hand and I'm lightly pressing on the rice paper, making sure it is in the decoupage varnishing glue. But look at this. Isn't that such a gorgeous pattern? That is going to brighten up any table that you put this on. This, you can do it with any kind of pattern paper, any kind of rice paper, but this would be really cute during the holidays with some Christmas paper. We have a, um, uh, Decoupage Queen has a, I think it's the Magnolia, or, no, poinsettia. They have a white poinsettia and a red poinsettia, two different ones with dark. They were just beautiful. This would look really pretty on there. I almost used it but it's not quite close enough to Christmas, even though it is July and everybody does Christmas in July. I just have never really done that. So plus it's 195 degrees here in Florida. And then there's nothing about that that feels like Christmas. Okay. Michaela. I love that pent art. Yes. It seems to set the paper. I agree. It's, it just seems to, it just works perfectly with these rice papers. I love the pent art. All right, so I'm feeling it. What I'm gonna do is generally you can either put your top coat on now or you can sand the edges. Now, when you sand your edges and your paper is still wet, do not go back and forth because you would tear your paper, you need to go down. Normally I say up and down, but I was corrected. Even though we're going down, you have to bring the paper back up off the board. It's just down, down, <laughs> so. It's perfect for, for Jennifer. That's a great question. It is great for furniture. This is what I use when I put decoupage paper on furniture. I use the Pentart. But then again, there are other products that work good too. So if you notice, I'm just going down, I'm just going straight because what's, gonna, what's happening is I'm not, see the paper, how easy that comes off? Oh, let me take it off. Sorry. 
Um, it just comes right off and I'm, I'm not going back and forth while I'm pushing or sliding my paper. So I'm just going down. Oops. I just hit the corner of the table. Down, down, down. And it just comes off really easy. Now I, I recommend the sanding blocks, but sometimes when you use them too much, they're not as, you know, uh, doesn't have as much grit. So I just take a little piece of sandpaper and I just wrap it around. I like to have something in my fingers when I'm sanding rather than just the piece of paper. All right, let's pull the rest of this paper off on this side. It'll get a little tricky around the handle. Hello, Mariah from Massachusetts. Thanks for joining today. We are starting on a board with some rice paper. And if you do this while you're, it's still wet, it comes off super easy. Super easy. You can you can absolutely wait till it's dry. Your paper will be a little bit more firm. Obviously, you can use a razor blade. You can sand it again. It's generally whatever you whatever your preferences are. I'm just going to rip this off right here. And look, we still have so much more of this paper because this was a giant A0 one. So there's plenty. I can do another board if I wanted to have matching boards, or I can do. Um, something else, maybe I can use, uh, um, something that would coordinate with this that would go on top of it, like maybe a candlestick or a ball jar, anything, flower, vase. Oops, I lost my sandpaper. Again, going around the edge of where the handle is is going to be a little bit more tricky because it has that corner. Oh, thanks, Jen. Yeah, I, I honestly, it was the cleanest area for me to work <laughs> because I was getting ready to go out of town. I um, didn't want to clean up my mess that I need to finish working on in my normal live area. So I chose to come in the classroom. This is such a nice little area to have. And pretty soon it'll be bustling full of workshop students because we have all kinds of class is scheduled and if you signed up to receive our emails I, re I emailed out the schedule today if you want to be emailed of our class schedule on our Facebook page there is a place where you can there's a link there and you can subscribe to our email list for workshops we have about I think six scheduled right now but we've got a whole bunch in the works of what's going to be coming Especially with the holidays, we have some really fun ones planned. Okay, so I just have to get the bottom of this now. Just this little edge. Again, because my paper is wet, I'm going down with my sandpaper. And then it just comes right off. Ta-da! A little sticky, but I always have <laughs> my little. Oh, you know what? I should put my little logo up. There we go. Ta da! Creating with Shannon. Always have the baby wipes handle, baby wipes handy. These are the sensitive ones with no dyes, no perfumes, no nothing in them. So they'll have less effect of modifying anything you're working on, like chemically changing it and stuff. All right, so now look, isn't that beautiful? It's just gorgeous. Now I'm not, oh shoot, I tore it when I flipped it with my finger, but I can put that back down. I'm not done with this yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it with the decoupage medium, and then I will decide if I'm going to add anything else to it today or not. Um, I really need to let the decoupage medium dry, but there's so much that can be done to this. I can stencil. Um, I have a saying on it, my, my initials, if I was to put it on my table at home, I could put beach, you know, we are, we're in Southwest Florida and we are right next to the beach. So it could be beach since I, I won't be keeping this. I'll be selling it here at the store. 
it'll probably be something that will work for a lot of different people. But I just love the look. Now I also want to make sure that I'm getting the edges brushing back this way. So I'm getting any decoupage medium underneath the paper that might not have gotten any. Okay, and then I'll go back over that real quick on this side and then move on down. It is a big board, but this paper just fits perfectly and I've got plenty more if I want to do another one or do any coordinating projects. Now again, this board did have that big crack in it, so this was one way to conceal the crack. The only way you're going to notice it if it when you're displaying on it, if something might be a little uneven, then you just kind of move it back or forward and it'll be fine. Getting all the edges. I want to make sure I have a good seal. And this decoupage medium is waterproof, so it'll be perfect for if you need to wipe it down based, besides what you put on it. If you're putting food on it, I would recommend putting a doily or something down just for you know safety. Plus, you don't want to really get anything on this anyway, even though it is washable. All right. Now, it's a little white right now, but that's just the decoupage medium because that's white. That will dry. This will dry um, flat because I did use the mat. If I chose to use the gloss, you would have a nice sheen, but that's not really the look I was going for for this. So let me just show you this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ta-da! Is there a varnish that would make it food safe for like cheese, etc.? Um, no. <laughs> now, generally, uh, when you're eating cheese and you have stuff on your boards, the surface is not wet. So you're not really getting the chemicals. The problem comes if you cut on it, then you're cutting, you could get some chips off of the product you use. So it's just better to, if you're going to use something like this, put a doily down and have everything already cut before you put it on there. Just for safety, because you know what? You can never be too careful. And they do make really cute doilies. You can get them all different colors, different shapes. Um, and you can even just put like little risers on it so you can still see the paper and do different like, like the tiered cake stands have different sizes and maybe a, a you know, flower vase or something. But depends on whatever you're going to use it for. Because this would be great with just a couple candles and maybe a book sitting on a table in your living room. Totally whatever you want it to be. But I just had to make it because I want to show you how that can disguise anything you have that has a crack. It's not going to come apart because this one was put together. If you see on the end here, there's an over here, there's two pieces of wood that join together going this way. So I'm not going to come apart. It just has that big crack. And I just wanted to disguise that one. <clears throat> okay. So a few of the things I'll be in Atlanta this weekend visiting Decoupage Queen and it's her third birthday of the papers and all of her other products. She brings in so much, the pent art, the different brands of decoupage paper besides her just decoupage queen. She has AB studios, LTD, um, paper designs, all kinds of, just all kinds of crafty stuff. Um, we're going there. I'm going to celebrate the third year anniversary with Michaela and Teresa, and we're kicking off a live. It's going to go all day Saturday. There are going to be several different artists sharing all kinds of projects with you. And I know there, I heard there might be some costumes involved. I'm not sure, but it should be, should be interesting. Okay. Let me check some comments real quick. Um, oh, Hey Gloria and not Duska. I'm obsessed with actual leaves for the past few years. That's gorgeous. Oh, is this beautiful paper? It is just the different blues and like the, like the mintish green. It's, it is beautiful. All right, so anyway, I'm headed out of town. Tomorrow I'll be back on Monday, but I'm heading to Atlanta to spend time with Decoupage Queen. And make sure you tune in on Saturday for a day full of lives. If you check my Facebook page or Decoupage Queen, you'll see the schedule. And it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining me. And I will see you next Thursday at 145, unless you catch me Saturday. I believe we're on at 11 Eastern. But don't hold me to that. <laughs> All right. Take